month of October, double asteroid redirection test that is DART, NASA's spacecraft asteroid collision. Now NASA's DART mission collided with Didymos asteroid. It is NASA's demonstration project of kinetic impactor technology to prevent asteroids from hitting the Earth. About asteroids, asteroids are small rocky objects that orbit the Sun. Although asteroids orbit the Sun like planets, they are much smaller than planets. There are a lot of asteroids in our solar system. Most of them are located in the main asteroid belt, a region between orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Moving on to the DART spacecraft, DART stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. It is the first ever mission dedicated to investigating and demonstrating one method of asteroid deflection by changing an asteroid's motion in space through kinetic impact. Now DART's target is the binary asteroid system Didymos which means twin in Greek and explains the word double in the mission's name. It was it is a 11 million kilom it is 11 kilometers 11 million kilometers from Earth. Didymos is not on a path to collide with Earth and therefore poses no actual threat to the planet. DART is a spacecraft designed to impact an asteroid as a test of technology. NASA is estimated to invest $320 million in DART. Undertaking the mission, NASA undertook the kick technique compared to the massive Didmore Foss. DART is very small, yet crashing at a high speed of 23,760 km per hour, the momentum is adequate to splash the angular momentum of Dimorphos, making it speed up and move closer to Didymo. Didymos. All these reduce the orbital period and time taken for moonlit to go around the primary asteroid. The pair's trajectory is thus deflected as the net result of these dynamics. Consider it like this, a fast moving mop slamming into a truck moped that is sure going to undergo a massive crash and burn, yet it will wear the massive truck a bit. This is the essence of kick technique, a similar collision with another asteroid may alter its course and prevent it from collision course. Significance It, it tests proof of concept for a planetary defense system which could prevent a large asteroid from smashing into Earth. Since DART appears to have worked, scientists can now conceive a similar mission probably involving a large nuclear warhead if there is a future emergency. Moving on to government pushing for Navic systems in smartphones. The government is pushing the tech giants to make their smartphones compliant with, compatible with Navic. Now Navic or Navigation with Indian Constellation is an independent standalone navigation satellite developed by satellite system developed by ISRO. It became operational in 2018. Navic consists of seven satellites and covers the whole of India's landmass and up to 1500 kilometers from its boundaries. Now, significance of Navic for India, it gives real time information and standard positioning service open for civilian use and restricted service for authorized users like military. It has been made the Indian Armed Forces self it has made Indian Armed Forces self-reliant. The services will be provided to the neighboring nations, enhancing goodwill. It is important for country's sovereignty and strategic requirement. Relying on systems like GPS and GLONASS may not always be reliable as those are operated by defense agencies of respective nations, and it is possible that civilian services can be degraded or denied. Comparison of GPS navigation system. Uh, now GPS caters to coverage, satellites, frequency and accuracy. So GPS caters to users across globe and satellite circles, the twice earth daily twice, while Navic covers India and some neighboring countries. Now Navic has a total seven satellite earth's orbit where GPS has a total 31 operational satellites rotating the earth. Navic uses L5 frequency for standard positioning service and S band frequency for military use. GPS uses L1 and L5 frequencies for both general and military use. The reason for Navic's pinpoint accuracy is the direct line of sight between the satellite and India's region all the time. Since Navic satellites are much more above Earth's surface, approximately 35,000 kilometers above, signals can't be blocked by mountains. GPS satellites are operating at medium orbit, so there are chances of signal blocking by mountains. Now, Navic has been 
has a position accuracy of 5 to 20 meters for general uses and 0.5 meter for military use. GPR, GPS has a similar position accuracy of less than 20 meters. Use of NAVIC at present NAVIC is use is limited. It is being used in public vehicle tra tracking in India for providing emergency warning alerts to fishermen venturing into deep sea while there is no terrestrial network connectivity and for tracking and providing information related to natural disasters. Proof of work to proof of stake in blockchain. Ethereum blockchain platform has fully transitioned from proof of work to proof of stake consensus mechanism and this revamp is known as merge. Now Ethereum is a decentralized cryptocurrency. Till now the transactions were validated under proof of work consensus mechanism which was essentially done by cryptocurrency miners. Under it, miners would compete to solve complex mathematical puzzles using a massive infrastructure of cutting edge computer hardware. And first one to solve the puzzle would be chosen as the validator. This method was almost entirely dependent on crypto farms which are massive warehouses lined with rows of computers which will solve the puz puzzle. Now these mines, mining farms consumed a large amount of energy. For instance, crypto's total annualized power consumption nearly matches that of Finland while its carbon footprint is comparable to Switzerland. Hence it was a big concern for environment sustainability. Ethereum has now shifted to a proof of stake mechanism that assigns validators randomly to approve transactions and earn a small reward. It would be it would entirely eliminate the need for miners on the Ethereum network. It will reduce Ethereum's energy consumption by ne nearly 99.95%. It will make transactions on Ethereum network extremely secure. Moving on to eSIMs, Apple has launched new phone enabled with eSIM. E-SIMs were first introduced in 2012. It is an embedded SIM. It has the same hardware of a regular SIM card chip but is now permanently embedded in the motherboard of a watch or smartphone. They also function the same way, acting as unique identifiers for making calls or sending messages. Being attached to motherboard also allows reprogramming, letting users switch operators without having to replace any physical SIM card. Advantages of embedded SIM is provide security and eSIM provides security to SIM theft as there is no physical element to pull out and use in another device. Attackers cannot use the stolen phone thus protects confidential personal and financial information. Saves space in the phone. Embedded SIMs save physical space. The extra space can be utilized to provide extra features. One lace opening on the frame of phone reduces the likelihood of elements like dust and water entering the phone. It also saves space on inside of the phone to be used elsewhere. Now certain disadvantages are if a phone stops working, runs out of battery or becomes dysfunctional, then the communication with the person is brought to complete standstill with the eSIMs. Traditional SIMs can be quickly pulled out of the affected phone into another backup device or secondary phone. Usable, unusable in countries with no eSIM support. Now eSIM phones cannot be used in a country where the telecom operator simply doesn't support the technology yet. Telcos have more control and eSIM may save one's initial trip to telecom operator's store to get SIM card but one has to rely on operator while switching one's phone. Moving on to genetically engineered mosquito to tackle malaria. Scientists have genetically modified mosquitoes to slow the growth of malaria causing parasites in their guts. This can help prevent transmission of disease from hum to humans. Now malaria remains one of the most devastating disease globally. In 2021 it infected 241 million people and killed 6,27,000 people. It is caused by a bite of female Anopheles mosquito, which is the vector, if the mosquito itself is infect infected with the mal malaria parasite. There are five kinds of malaria parasite, Plasmodium flasciparum, Plasmodium vivax, the commonest one, Plasmodium malariae, Plasmodium ovale, and Plasmodium nolisi. Now moving on to genetically modified mosquitoes, the mal malaria parasite developed 
into their next stage in mosquitoes mosquitoes gut and travel to its salivary glands ready to infect the next person it bites scientists have bioengineered the mosquito to produce compounds that is antimicrobial peptides that slow the growth of malaria causing parasites and causes the mosquito to have a shorter life span the innovation is so designed that it can be coupled with existing gene drive technology potential impacts the impact of genetically mod- modified mosquito is found to be effective in labs they dramatically reduce the possibility of malaria spreading in a lab setting if proven in the real world it could offer a powerful new tool to he- help eliminate malaria now a gene drive is a natural process of technology and technology of genetic engineering that propagates a particular type of gene throughout a population gene drive in combination with drugs vaccines and mosquito control can help stop the spread of malaria and save human lives gene drive can help the anti parasitic genetic modification to be preferentially inherited making it spread more widely among any natural population of mosquitoes moving on to flex fuel vehicles the union ministry for road transport and highways has launched toyota's pilot project flex fuel strong hybrid electric vehicles in india they can run on blended ethanol fuel as well now like any traditional vehicles flex fuel vehicles have an internal combustion engine but instead of regular petrol they can run on blended fuel petrol with ethanol or methanol the ethanol mix can vary between 20% and 85% The vehicle has additional sensors and different programming of the engine control module to access the blend of to assess the blend of fuel and adjust accordingly. Upgrading existing vehicles to run on high blend of ethanol fuel is expensive and not considered feasible. Flex fuel vehicles address multiple issues like lower pollution, lower import of oil and also have a lower cost of running thus offering better economy for consumers. challenges in flex fuel vehicles significant investment for ma- mass adoption adequate supply of different types of ethanol blend is needed across the country with 10% blend for existing vehicles and 85% blend for flex vehicles this means significant investment in infra by oil firms impact of sugarcane crop constant supply of ethanol largely depends on sugarcane in india which is a water guzzling crop damage to crop due to climatic factors could have an impact on blending rates moving on to carbon dot according to scientists modern technology like carbon dot might be the solution to environmental issues like water pollution carbon dots are one of the youngest member of carbon nanomaterial family they have an average diameter of less than 10 nanometers The dots show continuous and broad absorption spectra, intense fluorescent activity, excellent photostability and high tunable photoluminescence. Formation of carbon dots, top down method. This un- approach converts large carbon structures into quantum sized carbon dots by laser ablation, arc discharge and chemical or electrochemical oxidation. Now bottoms up approach, carbon dots are produced for from carbonizing small molecule precursors by pyrolysis carbonization hydrothermal processes or microwave assisted synthesis now carbon dots have been produced from high water hyacinthia waste advantages of carbon dot now carbon dots have garnered the attention of researchers mainly due to their convenient availability from both organic and inorganic materials Carbon dots have the potential to be used instead of quantum dots which are more toxic and less biocompatible. Carbon dot possess remarkable optical properties which differ peculiarly based on the precursor used for synthesis. Carbon dots are inexpensive, high bi- highly biocompatible and environmental friendly. Potential applications of carbon dots is pollution sensing, contaminant abs- absorption, water treatment, pollutant degradation. and antimicrobial benefits so carbon dots are electron donors and acceptors so they are becoming more popular as candidates in applications like sensing and bio bioimaging they are widely used as fluorescent nanoprobe for pollutant dis- detection because of their high fluorescence emission 
they also enable the detection of pollutants by changing color contaminate absorption carbon dots can provide many surface absorption sites due to their small size and large specific surface area water treatment carbon dots contribute rich oxygen containing moistly containing moist moist on the surface and are favorable for water solubility further they are also promising nanofillers in fabricating thin film nano composite membranes so carbon dots can be used for water treatment for instance carbon dots obtained from grass crop successfully detected mercury ions in lake water now pollutant degradation the technology can be useful for pollutant degradation by providing a cutting edge approach for next generation photocatalysis for example instance thio urea and citric acid based carbon dots were used for the degradation of harmful dyes moving on to antimicrobial benefits carbon dot in contact with bacteria cells under visible or natural light could efficient if an efficiently generate reactive oxygen species this can damage deoxyribonucleic acid dna or ribonucleic acid rna causing bacteria death that will be it